Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to a character we haven't seen much in a very long time. The Chris Jericho Road to Glory series here in NCAA 12. Well, this is it. This is the last road game in his high school career. What happened? Oh, it's not, not the game crashed yet. Jeez. Yay! I'm still thinking that every time I film something, the game automatically crashes. So, Chris Jericho, we'll be heading to the United States, possibly avoiding Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro, and Zeb Coulter by sneaking across the border. But this will be his second to last game in Canada. For sure, and yes, you guys still may get a chance to vote. On the school, but if in case you guys don't vote, which is probably the most logical choice, I will. I will. I will. Decide. I will. I have already decided what school he's going to. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but let's just say some a certain group of fans are going to be happy with it. And here come St. Catherine's Niagara, the Claymores, who rip off their jerseys from Texas Tech, apparently. And there's uh, their guy's quarterback, is apparently, is Cunningham, apparently. I'll be shocked if it isn't. So here we go with the Winnipeg Jets. And, of course, we lose to coin toss. They're going to kick, but we're going to go this way. So here we go, halfback blast. If you guys, this is the, probably the first episode of 2013 of Jericho. Well, because, well, I haven't done much of him since he left, but th since he came back. So, good job by Jericho. And I hope you Jericho-holics are enjoying this series as much as I'm, I am doing this series. And Well, good catch, and just like that, first down. Oh, great, a pass. It's one of those. And Jericho's the quarterback. Well, I think he's too fat to be a quarterback. And let's see how he does here in his first pass, and wow, not bad. In fact, he got a first down. And the coaching staff re rewards him by doing such good work. So you can see he has the number 22. Oh boy, no gain right there, so. Well, there we go, no score still. So here we go, and he uh, went the other way, and he took a risk, and he only got one yard. And once again, Jericho is not doing much of the running. Maybe he, he has to lose some weight back before the season starts. And there you see Jericho. Oh, he got intercepted. Oh, nearly got tackled there. Nearly got a tackle there, but nope. First down, and they are going to fail. Ugh. And luckily, Jericho went to the quarterback on the bed saying, and he told the coach that it was mostly his fault. He was the intended target. And wow, he got a good way to fake out the defense there, thinking that he was intended for Jericho, but it turns out it was not. So good, good strategy tactics. And there you see Jericho, well, nearly got through. Well, he couldn't get the walls in, but they got it. And of course, St. Catherine's Niagara's in the lead. But luckily, they can. It's still in the game. They're still in, and the quarterback is being too lazy. And he got ignored yet again. So here we go, third and four, halfback toss. Okay. So don't forget, later on today or tomorrow morning when I'm recording this, when I'm recording this, we will do the first two episodes of Season 2 of my NCAA 12 Dynasty featuring the Hawaii Warriors. Yeah, how weird is it saying that? Are you serious? The fullback's getting some action? Are you kidding me? 
Well, he got the first down. I'll give them credit for that. So yes, one is the recruiting, and two is the first actual game. Now remember what happened in my coaching carousel at NCAA 13. As soon as I left for UAB, we managed to get to a bowl game. And guess who we faced in that bowl game? Hawaii. Hawaii, the school that I left. Now hopefully we don't meet that same fate. Because that is too predictable. There you see Jericho and a good job for a first down. And they're going to set him on the bench. Well, at least it's a third and three opportunity. So that way he can get into the end zone to tie this thing up. And the guy said, screw you. And we get a, just get a field goal. Lovely. Did we get a first down? Nope, second and six. So, looks like right now at this point we should be getting close to a Hail Mary. We all know how much Hail Mary is meant to this series. Ugh. Ah, Jericho's doing terrible. And we're going to use the last time out. And flanker dig again? Don't forget. Are we supposed to get ready for the Hail Mary at this point? This offensive coordinator is going cuckoo. And of course we fail. And at halftime it is 7-3. Uh, and of course it's 14 to 3, so chances are we're going to lose this thanks to that interception. And all these passing plays. Seriously, what's up with them? Those are not necessary. Ugh. Come on. Jericho. Oh! Ugh! Dang, Nabbit! There you see Jericho, and look at that! Huge gain right there, second and three. And still 32 yards. That's still unacceptable. And here we go, here goes Jericho trying to get it in, and once again he gets ignored, and look what happened. It was incomplete. Nice job. So here we go, we can try and get back in the game here. With a Jericho play, and look at, and once again, two yards. What do you expect? So it's 14 to 10, which is, which is outstanding, which is great, because, well, we can get, we can take the lead here. And this could be a good part of our resume if we could pull off a come from behind victory. So let's see how we do. And, and he spiked the ball. Well, Jericho. Actually, that was sort of my fault because I misread the button. So here we go. And there you see Jericho. Ugh. Here we go. Four verticals. Yeah, should have seen this. Should have seen this coming. So someone won't be carding Jericho, so you know what this means, they're going to pass it to him. And ooh, intercepted, and oh, Jericho missed the tackle. Oh no, oh please. Ah, oh, dang it, they get a free score. What happened? Yeah, free score for them. So they're 30 seconds off the time. So if we want to make a comeback, we have to do it soon. Otherwise... Winnipeg will lose. Face it, just Jericho had a terrible game. Because they're not this team's not utilizing him enough. And that and the team and the, and the defense is just way too strong on Jericho. So here we go, more Jericho as let's see how he does it. Wow, he broke through it! Longest rush of the night so far for Jericho, and they're sitting him on the bench again. Oh, they're going for a two-pointer here to get us back in the game. 
Oh boy, let's see how this goes. There you see Jericho and no! Dun 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 dun! Uh, thankfully they screw up, so this means this could be a game winning play right here. Well, first, oh wait, second down. Jeez. Here we go. Here we go. Four verticals. So this means Jericho has a good shot. Oh, of course. There's two defenders on him. That's great. Uh, oh, wait a minute. There's a first down. That's great. And they're sitting him back on the bench again. Seriously? Oh. Oh, I see. They're trying to conserve energy out of Jericho. Yeah, all you Jericho Hollicks. Touchdown, Jets! Oh, baby! And how ironic the score is, no is his number. And just like that, the Jets take the lead for the first time today. Let's see how much time is left. Oh, great! They're gonna go for an extra pointer. A four point game to make it so that it sealed the deal here. And did we get it? Nope, we didn't get it, so there's a good threat chance we're still going to lose this. Yep, we lost. Uh-oh, Hail Mary time. And we all know how much Chris is good at these. Yep, we lost. Congratulations, South St. Catherine. The Jets lose in a heartbreaker. Huh. <sighs> Ugh, dang it! A value If we didn't, if we didn't miss that free throw, that I swear, if we wasted a little more time, we would have won. If we didn't miss that two-point conversion, we would have won. But oh well, better luck next time. That's all you could say. As Oregon offers a scholarship, and they right now they're the front runners to get Jericho. Here we go, and oh boy. Auburn, Boise State, and Alabama. Well, Alab so he's choosing Boise State. Why? I do not know. So uh, this is just about to do a comeback on Tuesday for the Double Decision Show. What team will earn the right to call just Jer Jericho their own? And oh boy, we got Senior Day against Quebec. Come back for that, guys.